Now, it appears another teleprompter incident at a Biden interview with a teleprompter last week. People were wondering what Biden meant in an interview recently where Biden says, I lost that line. We now have proof that Biden had a TV camera right in front of him for the interview as well. Watch. There are going to be no deportations in the first 100 days of my campaign. Let me get that right. You are going to freeze deportations? Freeze deportations for the first 100 days. And then and only people will be deported are people who committed a felony while here. That's number one. I, okay, I lost that. Yeah, one. well, it's, but that's good because we can we can talk you and I on that. Okay, uh, but but it's, <clears throat> but, but th- think about think about where we are today. More, more than- I lost that line. He said, "I lost that line." Clearly, he's speaking to whoever was controlling his teleprompter. And from the picture, it is clearly seen he has a TV. Next to himself, he missed a line, and he let everyone know it. The guy's a complete mess. Now, what's interesting to note is that Rob Lagojevich, the uh, former Illinois governor whose prison sentence was commuted by President Trump, called this action disqualifying. Watch. The idea that a presidential candidate would have a question-and-answer session with the media and that he would read the, the, he would decide which questions he's going to get beforehand because he's been shown those questions. And then his staff gives him a list, and he read, reads the list. Now, who should I call that next? Number one, number two. I saw him do this. Given to him by his staff. You can call Gary Franchi, but you can't call Tom McCullough. So he goes down the list, and then he reads the answer. Okay, a prepared question he gets in advance, and the answer from a teleprompter is unprecedented. It's never happened before. I wish I could blame some of the dumb answers I gave at press conferences on a teleprompter. But I didn't have one, and I was just a governor. Can you imagine... The President of the United States seeking to be the leader of this country who is not willing or prepared or capable of answering questions from the media. And this is why you see, too, President Trump every day getting out there and taking questions. The contrast could be more dramatic and more stark. And that alone, that alone, the fact that Biden has to read answers from a teleprompter on questions, canned questions, that should disqualify him from being president. That should be all the American people know. Maybe I don't agree with anything President Trump, this is not me speaking, but hypothetically. I don't agree with anything the other guy is for or against, but clearly the guy who has to read answers from a teleprompter at a press conference, that person cannot be the president. So to me, uh, it's disqualifying on its face. Disqualifying on its face. Now, the Biden campaign and reporters later said the teleprompter was for a caller to the show. So the question is, why would they need a teleprompter for a caller to the show? Yes, it's uh, quite curious. The liberal media is unwilling to ask challenging questions or report on inconvenient episodes that deal with Joe Biden. So the teleprompter conspiracy continues with the Biden campaign issuing a very weak response. But you saw right there, the former governor of Illinois, Rob Goyevich, says it's disqualifying on its face. Comment below. We'll see you at the next report for the next News Network. I'm Gary Franchi.